What do you love about the city? What do you love about Mexico City? Something you want to change about the city? Is there something you don't like? Que no te gusta? So one thing about Mexico City is it's a very loud city. And so I'm in a park right now called Parque Mexico. Uh, just to find a quiet environment to hopefully talk to some people. Let's see what we can find. Okay. And so if, you, if it's easier for you to speak Spanish, you can? Or if you want to speak English? Uh, Español, eh? Okay. <laughs> okay. ¿Qué es una cosa que te gusta de la vida aquí? La gente. El tráfico. No, una cosa que te gusta. Ah, ok. Este, um, la gente, la amabilidad. La eh, comida es muy rica. Comida. Mucha gastronomía. Sí. Y rico eh. en cultura. Por visitar aquí, ¿qué es? What is one food they have to try here? Food? Ah, eh, enchiladas. Tacos. Tacos, tacos, enchiladas. Uh, my favorite uh, enchiladas de mole. De mole a uh, okay. chile verde. <laughs> Now on the other side, is there something you don't like? Don't like. Eh, cosas que no te gustan. Uh, el, el tráfico. <laughs> eh, puede ser el tráfico, la contaminación. Hay uh, mucha contaminación. Ah, este racismo. No, clasismo. Sismo. Se earthquake. ¿Ah? Earthquake. Ah, los sismos. Tiro. Yes. Ah, sismos. Los sismos. Sismos, you said. Yes. Ah, yes. Que hay muchos sismos. No, sí. sismos. Yes. No, hay muchos sismos. And how long have you been here? Uh, like a month and a half. Oh, cool. So you've had the real experience. You've had some time to get to know the city. For sure. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm here for like six months. Amazing. Well, so far, what do you what do you love about the city? I mean, it's beautiful, right? Like, it's like one of the most beautiful cities in terms of the amount of greenery, the amount of stuff going on, the little shops, the food. Um, you know, I think it's like genuinely like the best city in the world right now. Best city in the world. I wow. think so. I mean, I, I was in Paris. I was in Madrid. Uh, like the food, the drinks, the cocktails, the like people here. I think it's like top notch. The whole package. Yeah, everything. So I, I love it. That's why I'm here for a while. Amazing. Yeah. Well, on the flip side, <laughs> a month and a half, there must be something that's starting to annoy you, something you don't like as much. I don't know that it's annoy, but like, um, you know, it takes a while to get used to the pollution and the and the uh, altitude. Just like murder you when you first come here, you know? It's like, uh, it's so yeah. high, it makes you super tired, and then the pollution kind of gets to your eyes a little yeah. bit. Um, so you just gotta like take breaks throughout the day. That's but a good that's tip for someone favorite. who's like coming here for the first time, they might. Plan an extra day so that you can uh, take a nap one of the days, because it, it definitely takes a little bit to get adjusted to. What is your name? Hector. Hector, what do you love about Mexico City? I love the street food, and I hate the pollution. Tu vives aquí toda no, la vida? No, estoy en vacaciones aquí. ¿De dónde viene? De Francia. ¿Francia? Sí. Ah, oh. ¿vos hablas francés? Sí. Ok, <laughs> très bien. ¿Qué es que tú piensas de la ciudad de México? Uh, les gens son gentils, c'est uh, c'est culturel. Ah, super. Et sur l'autre côté? Et l'autre côté, bah, la pollution. Oui. La pollution et um, la pauvreté, il y a certains quartiers. Voilà. Okay, so I actually wanted to share some of my own thoughts on what I love and hate about Mexico City, given the fact that I've been to this city many times now, as longtime viewers of this channel will know. Uh, so I'm going to get straight to that. But first, I want to take a moment and thank today's sponsor, Surfshark VPN. A VPN stands for a virtual private network, and essentially it creates an encryption between your computer I don't know why the palm of my hand is a computer, but just like stick with me on this metaphor, okay? Your computer and the internet, all the fingers are the internet. So if you encrypt the palm of your hand with the connections to the internet, it can stop bad people, fingers, bad people, from reaching your encrypted palm. And so if you're doing something related to your work or your banking or anything personal, really, you wanna make sure you have that extra layer of security. In addition to the encryption, having a VPN can also set you up with uh, location independence in that it can change your IP address from one country to another. Now, this came super in handy for me recently. <laughs> handy, remember the hand, okay. This is useful when you want to do something that can only be done in certain countries. 
Like there's a Canadian streaming service called Crave, but it's only available in Canada. And so to watch The Last of Us and find out what happens in this post-apocalyptic world, I needed to have a VPN set me up and change my IP address to Canada. To check out Surfshark VPN, they're hooking us up with an 83% discount if you use the code new travel. links down below. Now let's talk about what I love and hate about Mexico City. Now, people who have seen my Mexico content before know that I love this place because of the diversity of neighborhoods, how it really feels like not one city, but like a hundred different cities. There's very rich neighborhoods, very poor neighborhoods, very modern neighborhoods, very historical neighborhoods. There's literally the canals you can float down if you go down south to uh, Chochimilco. There's the ancient pyramids you can see if you go north to uh, Teotihuacan. I mean, just the amount of history and diversity in this place is incredible. And that's why I love Mexico City and I keep going back time and time again. Now, what do I hate about it? Okay, I, I could say the pollution and what some other people have been talking about, the traffic. But I'm going to say something different. I hate Mexico City Airport. I just hate it. It's, it's, it's a world-class city with a third-rate airport. Uh, I know they were talking about building a new one and then they stopped. And now I guess we're stuck with the old bad one. But every time I go to the airport and it just reminds me like, you guys deserve a better airport. Um, and I hate it even more after my recent tri trip because I got scammed. Uh, shout out to the OXO in Mexico City Terminal 1. I think it was Terminal 1. Um, yeah, basically I was trying to buy a SIM card for my phone and I was trying to get a Telcel uh, 10 gigabyte SIM card. Uh, and I paid for it. No problem. It's all good. Got the SIM card. It was working. And then I went on my way. Uh, and it was, it was good until like a day and a half later when it stopped working, they scammed me. I paid for 10 gigs. They only gave me 500 megabytes. So like 1 20th of what I paid for. <laughs> and then this is the craziest thing. Like when you find that OXO on Google, see that 2.1 stars? Like everyone for the past three years has been getting hit by the same scam and writing reviews about it and, and nothing's been done. <laughs> anyway, that's my little rant for the day. Now let's get back to the streets and see what some other people have to say. Are you from Mexico City? Yeah, I, I live here in the city. Tell me what you love about the city. I love the people. I love the food. I love there is so much culture here in Mexico. I love the art. I love to do sports. Um, yeah, mostly foods. <laughs> okay, lots to love. Yeah, yeah, it's a lot to love. Can you find something you hate about the city? Yeah, it's kind of hard, but some things that I really don't like about the city is the noise, the traffic. Yeah, we can, even here I tried to find a quiet place, still we can hear the traffic. Yeah, it's really hard. <laughs> yeah, even in like the quiet places that are here in the city, there are no, like, there's always noise. It's not really yeah. bad all the time. Like, sometimes there are people playing some instruments in the street or some dude just singing. ¿Cómo te llama? Miguel. Miguel. ¿Qué te gusta de la ciudad? Pues me gusta mucho los parques, que hay muchos parques. Muchos lugares que visitar en México hay muchísimos de museos, de teatros, de bares, de lo que quieras, ¿no? Y lo que no me gusta es la inseguridad, el tráfico, la burocracia. ¿sí burocracia, sí. ¿Eh? Bueno, muchas gracias por el tiempo, amigo. De nada, de nada. ¿eh? Ok, I'm here with Graham. Graham actually stopped me on the street because he recognized me from the old school Mexico City videos. Yep, that's right. Then I came to live here for a few months. I was studying at UNAM in the side of the city doing some research and yeah, pretty much Dan's videos just told me all about Mexico, the cool places to go. So I was like, I have to stop this guy. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah. Well, then you were, you were here as a student. You got yeah. a different perspective on the city. What, what do you love? What, what's your take on the city? So... <laughs> I've lived in a lot of different places and I was thinking of somewhere where I could live long term and I decided to come back to Mexico City because I just feel like 
I don't know, like it's the one place where you have everything. You can find any kind of restaurant you want to go to. The city is so diverse, it's so modern, but at the same time you have a lot of really traditional areas. Um, yeah, pretty much it. Amazing. So, yeah. Now on the other side, have you been yeah. here long enough to find something you hate? I wouldn't say hate, but um, look, Mexico is some of the best food I've ever had. Like seriously, it, it really is all it's hyped up to be. I can't adapt to like their regular white bread. I I just can't, there's sugar in it and um, yeah. I mean, I like I like the kind of traditional sweet breads, but like, They put sugar in everything. Yeah. I mean, everything the, is, the candies, the yeah, breads. <laughs> people here, they love sugar. Like Mexicans have quite a sweet tooth, so yeah. But it's really hard to find, like, there's nothing you will hate in Mexico ever, I think. Yeah. Um, it's just an amazing place, so, yeah. Me gusta mucho el ambiente, la gente es muy amable, muy cálida. Eh, ¿Qué no te gusta? Mm, ruido. El ruido, muchos carros, pero de ahí en fuera todo muy bien. Uh, Mexico is a multicultural country. I mean, uh, you can find everything, and it's like a story. It's like uh, a paint. Also, you have you have the the other point of view from from other countries, and we love to be uh, friend with everyone, uh, no matter what happened or uh, no discrimination. I mean. Now on the other side, is there something you dislike? Something you want to change about the city? Uh, I mean. We, we are, as human beings, we have a lot of problems. We have uh, so many different points of view, but at the same time, we are so young in, in comparison with other countries. So we're learning, and I think uh, for me, it's like the, that learning, the the, the, the thing that I, I think is not the, the best, but I can I can feel it as a as a I don't know how to say in English as a as, as a lesson. Yeah, so if something goes wrong in life, you look at the positive and you, you yeah, look forward to basically. it. Amazing. Muchas gracias for our temple. Gracias a ti.